Hi, I'm Jace, and this is Wine Chat, and we're here today at downtown St. Louis at Lucas Park Grill, 1234 Washington, with executive chef Kyle Patterson. Chef, nice to have you on the show. Nice to be here. Now, Kyle, or should I call you Chef? It's probably, it's Chef, isn't it? Either one works. Chef. Um, chef, you've <clears throat> prepared some wine and food pairings for us. Yes, I have. And uh, uh, about a week or two ago, we did a, a wine and food pairing basics episode, and we're going to step it up into intermediate and advanced here with some practical examples. Um, so let's start here. We have a dish. Well, well, tell us a little about the dish. We have a shrimp skewers on sugar cane. The shrimp's pureed, wrapped around the sugar cane with a little bit of spice, cilantro, a little smokiness to it, um, and some fish sauce to tie it all together. We have a spicy mango sauce and a sweet and spicy red pepper sauce. We're pairing that with the Chandon Brut, non-vintage. And we had uh, we actually had Tom Taberzi, the winemaker, on uh, a few weeks ago, and he's, he, he was pretty proud of this wine for the for the price they put it out at. And I uh, I gotta say the uh, I, I don't know if you're pretty proud of that dish, but I can smell it from over here. The the uh, and I can uh, the fish sauce just kind of kicks everything into high gear. It's, it smells pretty fantastic. It's very high in umami. It's uh, a nice dish, not too much, not too forward, so that it goes very well with the citrus in the Chandon. Okay, so uh, this is what you would serve. This is an appetizer course, obviously. Yes. A pretty hearty appetizer, but an appetizer nonetheless. And, and you're pairing that with a sparkling wine. And this is something we would, we would typically do is start, a, uh, start a, a fine dining meal or a good meal at home with friends with a bottle of sparkling wine. Uh, tell us about the dish we have next. We have uh, Hawaiian sea bass, which is macadamia nut crusted with passion fruit beurre blanc and sushi rice. We get the sea bass flown in direct from Hawaii uh, three or four times a week. It has a nicer fat content than maybe the Chilean, and it is actually in the sea bass family. Now you've paired this with the, uh, the Newton Red Label Chardonnay, um, and we'll actually be talking to the winemaker from Newton here uh, shortly, so this all works out really great. Um, but this also works out really great because you've got some, some Asian flavors, it's safe to yes. say, with some sushi rice going on here. Um, and we have a slightly sweet California Chardonnay. And this is, for me, a pretty classic pairing. Um, more so than all the, I'm not gonna name names, but conundrum. Uh, and things that are meant to be paired with Asian foods, I really find just a simple, uh, slightly sweet, uh, and slightly, maybe a little malolactic, maybe a little butter in there. That kind of Chardonnay works great with this kind of food. Uh, and once again, this, this looks like a great pairing. Um, we're going to get to the last dish here, and, and yes. this I'm really excited about because you make your own duck confit, and I am a, a fan of, uh, of duck confit. So tell us we what you've it. got here. We have a duck leg confit, and that's served with a... We use the cooking juices that are left over after the confit and the roasted garlic roasted in the duck fat for the sauce with a little extra butter and some sherry fig vinegar. We have a bacon potato and leek cake, which is fried crispy, and then we do green beans. What have you paired it with here? This is the Casa La Pastol Merlot. From Chile, right? Yes. Okay, and this is, uh, this is uh, I wish we'd, we'd have somebody to interview from this winery, but this is the uh, La Pastol Marnier family, so some of you may know it from, of Grand Marnier fame, um, and also pretty award-winning wine from Chile, and, and one of my favorites for value in South American wine. Uh, tell us why you paired it with this dish. The ripe fruit, the blackberry plum, go really well with the uh, duck. Mm -hmm. Still light enough not to overpower it. So the fruit forward, the spicy vanilla to follow up just really goes nicely with the full duck flavor of the duck confit. I like it. And it's got, a, it's got enough, I want to point out, Merlot has enough earthiness in this situation. Not a lot, but a little bit um, generally to hold up to, to the, uh, the uh, hardcore vert here that you have um, yes. without being overpowered by you know, something green on the plate. Uh, generally, big red wine is going to hold up anyway, but sometimes it gets a little strange. So another excellent pairing. Um, now, we want to talk about two things beyond this. Tell us a little bit more about Lucas Park Grill. Uh, how long have you been here, and how long have you personally been here? I've been here for two years. Lucas Park Grill has been here for about five. We were the first restaurant here on downtown Washington Avenue, uh, the first big restaurant. Um, we do sort of an eclectic American bistro menu. We get a lot of uh, business locally, both on the east and west side of the river. <clears throat> what, uh, when you came here two years ago, what did you change? Uh, we changed the complete menu here when I got here within about a month. 
Wow. Um, tried to tie it together a little more than it had been, maybe. Make it fit together as a uh, complete artistic picture as opposed to pieces randomly attached. Um, we worked a little bit more on the from the scratch menu. Almost everything here is made from scratch in house. We do our own stocks, we do our own duck confit, we cut our own fish. Everything we have, except for the ice cream from Serendipity, which is a local company, is made here in-house. Fantastic. Uh, now, two of the dishes we're looking at, uh, unfortunately, not the sea bass, right? But right. the duck confit and the, the skewers here are going to be available for St. Louis Restaurant Week. Now, for those uh, of uh, for the people watching at home who are in St. Louis, um, Tell us a little bit about Restaurant Week. St. Louis Restaurant Week is here for, has two purposes. One is to get people who wouldn't otherwise be downtown to come down and see downtown St. Louis. It's changed so much in the past five to 10 years. And let me interject, you can really see downtown St. Louis from the windows here. I mean, this is right in the heart of it. Yes, it is. Um, so we want to get them down here with a prefix menu of $25 for three courses, which is what all the restaurants participating are doing. Part of that goes to Operation Food Search, which helps feed people, mostly children, here in the St. Louis area. And that would be St. Louis City and County. Um, this is on our first course, the shrimp lollipops. The duck confit is an entree. Uh, it's a great benefit. We do really well during restaurant week. It's a great time to get down here and see that downtown has changed. It's something that you can feel comfortable coming down here. and enjoy the great architecture that kind of got lost when St. Louis was the most dangerous down. city in the, you know, whatever. Yeah, it's not somewhat really scary. unfair from a uh, we almost we did get standpoint. mugged on the way here, but no no, it's it's not scary at all and you'll be fine um, and if you if you don't come out you're missing out uh, cuz these are some gorgeous dishes. Uh, you can find more about uh, St. Louis Downtown Restaurant Week. We'll have links on the site. So if you're watching this on iTunes, you're watching on YouTube, go to winechat.tv, and you can look up links to Downtown Restaurant Week. And also, we'll put up a link for Lucas Park Grill, so you can see the whole menu here and a pretty good wine list. So I want to I want to stress that. Go to the website, check out the wine list. Chef, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. Thank you. And uh, and these are some great dishes. And once we stop rolling, I'm going to see what I, if I can scam some lunch. Chef, great. thanks. And until next time, it's been Wine Chat. Salute.